Yo, what up, friends? How is it? How's it hanging? How's it? How's it cruising? <laughs> it's cruising, and it's cruising. a bruising. Yeah. Cruising and bruising. Angel, yep. how are you? Cruising, bruising. Cru- yeah. Are you cruising for a bruising. <laughs> uh, Wait, I thought you said, "Are I you sure crucified?" I or crucified. I, I didn't. I didn't say that. Well, uh, I'm tired. Well, <laughs> clearly. Uh, now, why don't we go ahead? and introduce ourselves well i don't have to introduce myself but we'll start with you marie me okay yeah who are you i'm marie nice to meet you all um some of you might know me as puka noodles on twitter or the internet or whatever and uh i'm a storyboard artist in animation and i am a friend of sungwon's oh yay Aww. and that's why i'm here <laughs> what what shows have you worked on in the past oh man let's see so i've worked on um craig of the creek at cartoon network and i've also worked on um, infinity train also a cartoon network property and then um actually it was just announced yesterday i think the Aquaman King of Atlantis. It's a HBO Max special. And that was at Warner mm. Brothers. And now I'm at Disney on some secret stuff. So I can't say what yet, but it's And for you be listeners, great. that Aquaman thing was was a while ago, but yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Because uh, the, <laughs> these come out very late. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, An- uh, Angel, go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, hi. Um, I'm a mutual friend. Uh, Angel Warren Sana, uh, they them pronouns. I may gender, uh, and I'm just here in LA. I'm a I'm a recent friend, um, but have been enjoying the ride all the same. And uh, what what do you do? Um, oh, I'm a storyboard artist. Uh, I do. I, mean, I guess I'm also a writer, but that just kind of comes with the position of like a storyboard driven show. Mm. What show? Oh, the show. Oh, the show. The show. Uh, Craig of the Creek. Um, yeah. There you go. There you go. Craig of the <laughs> old Craigie. Like, there it is. Old Craig All right. Uh, well, yeah. Thank you both for accompanying me for this episode. Uh, I did ask Twitter for some I'm so excited. suggestions uh, for topics. And uh, uh, I guess I'll start with Marie. Is there one you want to start with? There's a couple, actually. Let me see which one we should start off with. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. This one was a very well-liked question it's what's your favorite fictional himbo Ah, i even see angel's response under that with the guy sweating (laughs) obviously this one was in favor so i would like to know oh Oh, boy well i feel like i'm in the presence of like the master right i know the master of himbos i'm I'm like i don't yeah i don't am i gonna get this wrong the definition like (laughs) there no is it are they a himbo or a grumbo you know i think think we've talked extensively enough where you understand the difference we understand who like the staple like who the models are yeah Uh i think uh one that comes to mind for me is uh are you familiar with Dick Gumshoe from um, <laughs> Ace Attorney? I, oh, Is he a himbo? Does that oh, count? Of course. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, I feel like he's in the textbook, fancy right? Himbos. That's like in the dictionary. Well, actually, I, my, my question, Angel, is when you look up himbo in the dic- Webster's Dictionary, whose picture do you see? Yeah. It's Kronk. Yeah, it's, I knew actually, it. I was going to be like, it's yeah, got to be Kronk, It has to be right? Kronk. Yeah, okay. Well, my answer is Dick Gumshoe. How about you guys? What are what are what What's your best himbo? Um, launch pad, obviously. Oh, okay. yeah. that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Okay. So, from the yeah. new one or the uh, oh, classic? Mm, oh. Are they any different? I think they're both pretty much the same. Uh, mm. same? Oh. No, not really. We'll get into that. Okay, but okay. Answer? I actually haven't watched too much of the new one too, so mm, um, I would like that. to hear. I would. I would like to be enlightened, please. <laughs> okay, we'll go Launchpad in general. The concept of Launchpad. The, con- the okay. concept of... Uh, Angel, <laughs> top 10. No, you don't do top 10. What, oh, my God. Your, <laughs> who is your number one himbo? Yeah. Um. Well, just to get out of the way, I don't know if I would consider Sully a himbo, because he's not dumb. He's not dumb. No. I thought, yeah, so... In, is, is, do we have an imposter here? Like, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying, so I, I just want to get that out of the way um, before someone, like, says, like, what okay. are you saying, okay. Sully? 
Um, We're just but, listing characters we find hot now. Okay. No, great. no, no. Oh, no yeah. I just wanted to clarify. I wanted a disclaimer. Um, <laughs> my... <laughs> You're, so, uh, you're like, I need everyone to know. <laughs> uh, my favorite I know the definition, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, go on, go on. Oh, God. Um, well, now I'm only thinking about Grumbos, but... Um... Oh, we'll get into Grumbos in a second. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Grumbos. Uh, no, no, not Grumbos. Let's go back to the launch pad thing really quick. Uh, okay. Yeah, I need to know how... Because I I think I've only watched a couple episodes here and there of the new DuckTales. I haven't gotten mm. around to like actually watching through it as I, I've been meaning to. So yeah, I wanna, I'm, no I wanna expert. Hear. I'm no expert on the new DuckTales, but I've seen like a couple. But mm-hmm. the new launch pad is real dumb. He's really dumb. So you could argue oh. he's actually more of a himbo. Because he's mm, okay. very, that very dumb. But is he, is he still like, you know, doesn't, you know, like, basically never loses his cool or yells and is just generally a really cool guy who's nice and no, also stupid. I'd say, he, I'd say he's more likely to freak out, right, Angel? Are you familiar with the new launch pad? I'm not so, so familiar, but I have, like, most of the content of the new DuckTales that I've, I've watched is almost exclusively launch pad related. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay. <laughs> well, my experience is that the new launch pad is a little, a little kind of, but you know, may, maybe he like gets better or uh, in the in the later stuff. But I, mm. like, because I like classic launch pad, and that he's like he's kind of dumb, but he's also very like cheerful and confident. Like, yeah, it'll be fine. You know, like that sort of thing. Yeah, right? yeah. That's what I like about him is that he's like absent minded ish. You know, but he's mm. not like. He doesn't hold up like a pickle and is like, "This is a potato." Like you know, it's never like, <laughs> this like, is like a complete. I don't know, you know. So yeah, know. and and he's always like, I mean, like in all the like super stressful situations, he's never like, ah, you know. He's yeah. generally cool and calm about it. I don't know. That's I think that's great. Yeah, but I, I haven't watched the new one, so I I don't know. We'll go with classic launch pad then. Classic. Okay, launch classic. Pad. The, the launch ideal pad launch pad. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> the <okay>. ideal <laughs> design. <laughs> so we we got our himbos out of the way. Let's get into grumbos. Uh, okay. Yeah. Which, oh my god. Uh, grumbos uh, is is that a term that I coined? Uh, yeah, I, I would. I, yeah. I'll I think... give it to you. I'll give it to you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you'll give it to me? Is there proof yeah. that somebody we, else I, said I would, Grumbo? <laughs> I would say that we co-created it, but I think maybe you said the word, so I think it's yours. Mm, it's your baby. Okay. I'll, I guess I'll allow you to have some credit in this regard. <laughs> but, uh, wow. oh my God. So, so my Grumbo is uh, Bowser. That would be my Grumbo. Oh, that would have been... Um, I mean, you can have too. the same Grumbo. I, I love Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good I one. would agree with you on that one. It's just, I also just love Mario, like the whole series. So it's hard to mm. <laughs> disconnect myself from like, oh, I love Bowser. Mm, okay, <laughs> also, okay. in like the Paper Mario series, I like Bowser. Ah, a lot. Oh, I mean, that's a, so, that's a oh my great. God. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So good. Uh, Angel, do you like Bowser? I'm not sure. I, I um, love Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> You sound so offended. Have you, like, have you heard of Bowser? Do you, do you not know me? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Bowser. Um, I would say, like, the Grumbo that I'm obsessed with, like, 99% of the time is Pete. Of, oh, he's not part yes, of the, like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, the official crew. Uh-huh. What's the name of, like, the official, like, Disney character crew? Like, the Fantastic something? What? What Fantastic. Is, or no. What? what is the what is the name of like the you know like Mickey and his friends like Mickey's like, Nakama? Yeah, it's Nakama. Mickey's yeah. Nakama. <laughs> Mickey's uh uh Mickey's cult. Mickey Mickey's, and Mickey's, 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 cult. Mickey's Mickey's. Do you know what I'm talking the about? Mickey though? Elite. The, <laughs> the Mickey. I don't know. It's like Mickey and Friends, right? Like yeah, Mickey just, and Friends. I think it's Mickey and Friends, but there's some other title. It's something about like the. There's a number involved. Mickey's and... Suicide Squad. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like <laughs> Mickey's Magnificent Seven. I don't. I. I Mickey Mouse and there's I don't know. a Mickey it... Mouse. Yeah, isn't this know. Mickey and Friends? Oh, Any Mickey and the Gang. I thought it was just okay, Mickey I'm looking and it up. Friends. Mickey and Friends or Mickey and the Gang. 
Mickey and Friends. That's what I thought. But I, I, I'm just thinking about Mickey and Friends parking at Disneyland, too. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. So. So, Disneyland. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> that, makes me, that makes me sad. But uh, Mickey, Mickey and Friends. So, okay, Pete. Fab Five. Fab Five. What? The Fab Five? What Wait, is that? That's Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, Daisy? Some I would think so. I think Pl- so. Wait, where does Pluto? What about Pluto? Some include... doesn't deserve to be in the Fab Five. <laughs> Some, no, but, like, I knew, in, I this, knew that was... in this picture, they exclude Daisy and substitute for Pluto. I think they're interchangeable to some people. That is Whoa, disgusting. Oh, that's bullshit. That's such dude. disrespect to Daisy. Are you kidding <laughs> that's me? That's actually bullshit. Get that rotting rat tail <laughs> sausage out of here. <laughs> And, <laughs> and put Daisy back where uh, she belongs. Daisy's an icon. That's my favorite to just like come across Pluto at the parks, and you and Anne Marie are just like, what the fuck like this is that nasty. No, doing no one, out here. No, one, this artist never saw a dog before in his life. Just <laughs> like yeah. I don't know, it looks like a bunch of sausages smashed together, right? <laughs> and he's and he's bald and has like no fur or whatever, and yeah, uh, weird <laughs> flaps. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, yeah. uh, Pluto. I Pluto just sucks. don't like that he's as big as Mickey. I don't like that. Yeah. You don't like? Oh yeah, that he's that he's big. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah as that's... tall would be as tall as Goofy. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty up. sure. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, I never got to answer we... my himbo question, but it was because I was kind of waffling. Like, oh, is Wreck-It right. Ralph? Yeah. Is he a Grumbo or a himbo? Because he kind of teeters right? both. Uh, Wreck It Ralph? Yeah. Mm. Wouldn't, wouldn't he be a himbo? He's a grumbo turned so. himbo. Grumbo, grumbo turned himbo. He's, he's the avatar of the two. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I find I find that movie so boring that I just don't think he's really oh. anything. But uh, nah, oh, I'll be I'll be nice. So I'll be nice. Sad. I'll be nice. Cool. Uh, I, 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 I think he's he's a little dense, right? So I think like a oh, himbo. Yeah. Sure. He's like, especially in the in the second movie, yeah, he just didn't say. use his brain at all. So, mm. oh gosh. Not, um, not yeah, with Grumbo's, I think you have to be like actively, like not antagonistic, but very grumpy. Like usually, like mm-hmm. bad guys would kind of fall into that camp, or yeah. um, like uh, yeah, something like that. Some someone very who has, and I don't think of Wreck-It Ralph as having a nasty attitude. Just a little, just a little. A little hot headed from time to time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, do you think yeah, yeah, yeah. do you think right. Radigan is a grumbo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean he's a beefy oh. rat. Uh Oh is, Radigan. I <laughs> I would say so, yeah. I would absolutely call That's him a grumbo. That's a really good one. I mean, yeah. he's huge. Like he is yeah. I mean in terms of the cause it's gotta be, you know, grumpy yeah. and uh, fucking ripped, right? And he yeah. is ripped. Yeah, he's uh, huge, but he's not stupid. But he is grumpy. So. Yeah, he's not stupid. Grumbos are not stupid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's. I. I would. Yeah, I would classify. Damn. That's that's a good one. That is, <laughs> a, that, that is a good one. <laughs> oh, I would love to see a Radigan at one of the parks. Dude, oh my God. If Radigan Imagine. was at the park, I would wait eight hours. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> like, You'd get up at, at rope drop and just speed towards the Radigan. Do you think people Radigan would actually section? care if Radigan was at the park? I think the hardcore fans would, right? But oh, kids yeah. are gonna be like, "What's that scary mouse thing?" Like, but for me, <laughs> yeah. for me, I'm shoving all those kids. Get away, stupid! Like, and I'm just getting get in the way. Like, <laughs> I gotta get to the front of the line. Uh, yeah. Now I would, jo- this... I would join you. I'd be there, just like, all right, this is this is our Disney day today. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like gonna wait in line for Radigan. <laughs> Before Ducktales came out, me and Anne Marie went to the Florida park and or Christmas time, and we waited like three hours to see Scrooge because Scrooge. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, Scrooge was a big. That was a big deal. Now I think Scrooge probably comes out more often. I don't know when, mm-hmm. but. Uh, this was pre New Ducktales, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, I absolutely will wait. I I normally never have any patience <laughs> for like, if it's like ten people, like I you know I've taken a picture with a like Captain Hook or whatever, but mm-hmm. um, if it, I will not wait in line actually for a character unless it was somebody like Radigan or somebody yeah. Rare. Oh. If if you had if you had to wait in line, not had to. What character if they were in the parks? Would you be like, I will wait as long as I need to to take a picture with this character? Oh, it can be so... any character 
from any Disney oh my God. or Pixar parks. I'd have to think about this real hard. Um, um, I do know that in the past, Disneyland has done this thing where they bring out all the retired characters and they have them on parade and you yeah. can like interact with them. I wish they still did. I don't know if they still do it, but oh, I'm trying to think through that. Mm-hmm. Who do they even bring out now? Oh, no, it doesn't, I mean, have, besides... it doesn't have to be who they bring out. Just if you had any choice. Literally anyone. Yeah. From okay. as long as it's let's 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 exclude like. I don't know, fucking Star Wars. It's got to be Disney or Pixar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, or Pixar. Okay, let's see. Mm, well, you Angel, know, you should go. You know, you know what? <laughs> let's make it even more. Let's say just Disney. Just Disney. Okay. Just yeah. Disney. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay, no Pixar. Uh, no Pixar. I was gonna say Roz from um, <laughs> Monsters Inc. Because I think. That'd oh, be that'd cool. be awesome. Oh, hell yeah. I uh, know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but if we don't include Pixar, um, oh man, uh, hmm. Really? Neither of you? This is, this, this is, this opportunity is going to disappear. This is so oh, hard. I, I know. Disappear. I got an answer. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> just well, yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you go, 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 go. Sorry, go. I didn't want to butt in. Um, I, I mean, Pete, it's Pete because he's not there. And I don't know why. I would wait a thousand oh. years for Pete. That's a great answer. I never thought about that. Like, why isn't Pete at the park? There's yeah, like maybe isn't? one reported costume, like a picture, and it's old it's like as hell. Like Bigfoot, like a yeah. Pete sighting. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> now, if you have to, if, let's say you're getting to design the perfect Pete, uh, perfect Pete photo, <laughs> then what is he wearing? Oh, nothing. Lord. Well, nothing, right? No, uh, like uh, what? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the speedo <laughs> and the goofy movie. Oh, goofy my movie. God. Check the map, goof. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah. All the water just flows, and no more water in that oh, poor little God. hot tub. <laughs> oh, uh, Angel. So yeah. All right, Angel. Which outfit is Pete wearing? Um, I'm wondering. First of all, if he would have his peg leg. Um, this is up to you, my friend. Yeah. Uh, do you Ooh. want him to have the peg leg? I do. Just like the like one like strap overall look that he has, and like the new shorts. I love that, like, kind of grungy, dirty Pete. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. And, like, other art, he has, like, a hat on. He looks like a like a little gangster in, like, a like a green sweater. I'm not sure which is, like, Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking look. about. The bowler hat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, hat. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. God, I wish he would be in this, like, House of Mouse suit, though. I would. Oh, house of Mouse God. suit? Let me oh, look up, the, let me look up this That's Pete. a good one. Oh, God. There's so many looks, and they're sleeping on all of these opportunities. I don't understand. <laughs> Pete House. Oh, and his this white suit. This mm-hmm, fucking. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Who does he look like? He looks like a villain from something else. But uh, yeah, he, does, he, oh, he owns a megalo megalo corporation or whatever. Does yeah. Steelbeak wear a white suit? You know, do you guys know Steelbeak from Darkwing Duck? Steel. Oh. Oh yeah, 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 that yeah. Sounds familiar. That's who Dark I'm thinking Wing of. Duck. Steelbeak. Uh, yeah. What are, yeah, okay. Steelbeak so, is cool. No, oh, Steelbeak is that's, that's, that's a really rules. cool character, actually. <laughs> that um, one's so cool. I will settle yeah, for the, the like, oh, Mickey go, go, shorts. Oh, please. Sorry? I, I will settle for, like, the Mickey shorts outfit, I think, though. I think that's probably his look now. Let's see. You're talking about, like, the, the blue overalls? Mm-hmm. And peg mm, leg. Gotcha, Yellow eyes, gotcha. even. I'll take it. Classic look. It's a good look. It's a good look. Yeah, uh, I'm wondering why they don't have Pete at the parks. I like even like the presence of Pete is like, yeah. <laughs> the like he was like he was like he's a fiend. Of <laughs> I don't like is he on any of the rides or do they have any merch of him? Like I don't um, I don't know. He might Pete like stabbed the guy at the park once, so he's a permanent ban. <laughs> uh, he's 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 currently in the Disney jail. Yeah, the Disneyland he, jail. He's also. In jail. <laughs> Uh, Marie, do you have an answer for... Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. So I have two characters that I now think would be cool to meet. I didn't meet. say two, I would love but okay. To yeah. All right. Meet Grandma Fa from Mulan. Ooh. Oh, my God. I would. I think that'd be fun because I feel like it would be fun to talk to her, you know? Just yeah. be like, hi, <laughs> Grandma. Or um, freaking Long John Silver from Treasure Planet, if that was Whoa. would at all be possible. That's I think it'd be so fucking cool. Yeah. That is a Grumbo. Yeah. I would think I think that would be so fucking cool. 
Um, cause of all like the cyborg mechanical parts and also just like, cool. It's a pirate. It's pirate. It's, pirate. <laughs> it's a pirate. I don't know what else to I just say. Thought that, like, <laughs> when you were like, it would be fun to talk to grandma. I'd be like, hi, grandma. Yeah. <laughs> that's hi, that's grandma. the first thing you say. <laughs> hi, grandma. <laughs> uh, those are both great answers, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn. Now. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. were, were there any in the Twitter thread, any like other Disney related? If we can have an elegant segue. Oh, there and, was. Oh, <laughs> I mean, what Anne is Marie's. It? Oh my god. It was it was the um what ride on Disneyland would you make out on? Which like the most make outable ride. Oh. <laughs> Interesting, Anne Marie. Okay. I know, that was so funny. I asked for clarification too, like the three of us, you mean? Or, or like just in general. <laughs> or oh, like I a, see in it. individual endeavors, which <laughs> Okay, let's answer. Let's answer both both versions then. Okay. The most the most make outable and the most make outable for us three in particular. <laughs> uh, so you know, I'm thinking it's got to be like a dark ride, right? It's got to be. I, that's what I was just about to say. A dark mm. ride, and it have to. We have to like think about the seat capacity. Seat capacity is important, right? <laughs> let's let's focus yeah. on just like in general, right? Because listen, yeah, for general. for the three person question, if I'm involved. Like, there's got to be some, like, specifications. But for a general, oh, like, okay. let's say there's, like, like <laughs> let's say, let's say theoretically there's a two, you and your significant O are in the ride. One that, mm-hmm. one that immediately haunted mansion. I was just yeah. about to say that's, like, the You really, have your own like, little, good, like, solid, booth, yeah, right? Your and, own little thing, yeah. And it gets and stuck nice often enough where you can have some pretty long makeout sessions, too. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. And, and like that part where you go it's backwards true. down the hill, you can start. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. you can you just lay down at that there. point, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think that's yeah. it, right? That's a uh, that's a really good one, yeah. Now for the three of us, though, uh, there's that's not going to be enough. Is that going to be enough room for for a three mm, person? No, remember a tight squeeze. Yeah, mm. remember when. Um, uh, Sungwon, you, me, and Anne Marie tried to just like ride in the same haunted mansion, so no one would ride on their own, and we were just miserable the whole time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it, that's not yeah. enough space. Okay. We were like, uh, yeah. What? I mean, they let us do ride? it, but I don't know why they did. Because I was gonna say a specification for me is I'm not a I'm not a fan of uh, PDA. Uh, so mm-hmm. it's got to be like a private hold situation, right? Oh, okay. Closed. I'm not gonna be making out in the front row of pirates. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was about to suggest um, the gondola. Um, the gondola. Oh, yeah, the Pixar but, um, and Friends, the, the Ferris wheel. Yeah, the Ferris oh, wheel. Oh, is that that's perfect? That's pretty actually. good, actually. Especially if it's the yeah. swinging version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smash into your face. Woohoo! <laughs> Just smashing our faces into each other. At, uh, <laughs> And into the walls. Oh shit! No, yeah, the gondola. <laughs> that's actually. Or, uh, that's it's, I believe the it's called. One. What the fuck is it called? Mickey's like, f- Mickey's Fun Wheel or Mickey's. Uh, Mickey's terrifying death wheel. Mickey's terrifying know. death <laughs> wheel. Yeah. 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 No, actually, that's that's the perfect answer. So we nailed we nailed both in one. Uh, yeah. Damn. Two yeah. person, three Good person, thinking. four person makeouts. Four person. Uh, we got it. Yeah. We got everybody six, covered. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, oh, wait, God. no. Oh, wait, you got a better one? What about what about the train? Whoa. Oh, Casey Jr.? Here's yeah. the thing, Here's um, the thing yeah. about Casey Jr., though, oh. is that other people can kind of see him. That's the only problem, yeah. right? Mm. Unless what you're it? into that, but I'm not necessi- <laughs> I don't necessarily yeah. want a bunch of children. Get in the wild I animals see. cage yeah. and Ooh. start going at it. <laughs> They they, uh, oh. they they just add a car or no they have that car but all the windows are tinted. Oh, oh god, god. <laughs> <laughs> that's so gross. It is gross. Um, okay. Oh god. Well, we nailed that question. Both. Yeah. Thanks, Anne Marie. Thanks, Anne Marie, for that. Us. Um, <laughs> any other? It doesn't have to be Disney related. Actually, are there Angel? Actually, is there one that you wanted to tackle from the, uh, the um. thread? Yeah, I can get this one real quick. Uh, sure. James asks, should I play Kingdom Hearts? And the quick answer is yes. Why haven't you? Uh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a different answer to that. I'm going to say... Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, not the first... Do you, do you like the uh, first one still? 
I mm, I, love I haven't played game. it in a while, actually, come to think of it. I played it a couple of years ago, and uh, and I liked it as a kid, but it's a miserable game, I think, to play now. <laughs> I like God. it. Yeah. That's so sad. Yeah. That's so sad. And I like 2. I like 2. Uh, oh, 2 is great. I wouldn't sound over and say great, but it is. <laughs> I liked it. I, I, I like it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, so my history with Kingdom Hearts is uh, I played one. I'm a big I'm a big fan of Chain of Memories. That's the one that I go to bat for. Oh, Thank you. I'm glad yeah, the you one that nobody it. likes because it's like a fucking deck building game. <laughs> like, nobody, it, yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to think. Yeah, see, <laughs> I like to think instead of just Kingdom Hearts two triangle, triangle, triangle. You know, X, X. watch me eat ice cream or whatever. Like I don't. It doesn't, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, everyone else does. <laughs> But for me, Chain of Memories, uh, I like making a deck. I like, you know, no, I had, I I had a lot yeah, of fun yeah. with it. But uh, I played that to, oh, God, uh, the uh, 358 over two I was about, like, you don't like that one. That one fucking I don't know sucks. I, mean, I think I borrowed it from one of my friends, and I just, I, I turned on the menu, and then I shut off, and then I gave it back to my friend. Yeah. I was like, nah, that was okay. the right move. I played it all the way through like an idiot. Uh, really? Yeah, it's not good. Um, it's, yeah, it's not. What you does could... it even mean? Oh, <laughs> like five eight it's... over two. I I don't think it means anything uh, at all. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's <dumb>. actually what. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, dumb. It's, what does it it's mean? L- I think the the three hundred days. That's like Roxas's entire like chronicle inside like the organization. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. And then, like, the yeah. two days, I think, are the ones that overlap with his beginning, like, summer vacation. Oh, in my two. God. As if we're supposed to understand that. It's not, like, half? Like, <laughs> hey, like, there's... I thought it was half. Yeah, isn't it, like, yeah. half? No? Um, No, I don't think it's a it's fraction. It's not a fraction? It's not Damn. a fraction. <laughs> That's so <laughs> dumb. Okay. Yeah. I thought so it was a fraction. So there's your answer, James. Don't time. play it, because that... Not, uh, <laughs> Like, <laughs> I, to be fair, dream every, drop. everyone goes off about Birth by Sleep, which I have not played. I hear that one's good, right? Yeah, that yeah. one's good. I enjoyed it. Okay. It's, what is it? Is it supposed to be canonically like the first one or something? Yeah. I believe the I phone game else? or something. It, it, like, but, uh, it was. It like was the first prequel and then the mobile game happened. It's like this happened like a thousand oh. years ago or something. Oh, oh God. In the okay. Cubeade well, War or something like that, right? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. At uh, one point in my life, I understood the chronology, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's fine. Like I could, um, I mean, I, I, you know, when three came out, I feel like three came out, and it was like crickets. Like nobody wanted to talk about their experience. Like it was, <laughs> yeah. Like it was that disappointing for people. I didn't play it. I still haven't played it. We had it. Amory played it, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, just um, everyone was so excited for that game. And then when it came out, it was like it was like when Frozen Two came out. It was like nobody talked about <laughs> it. They were just like <laughs> that oh, happened. That's... It, it happened, I guess. Uh, it did happen. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it happened and it had an ending. I mean, that it was an ending. Yeah. That's all I can say. Well, uh, that's great. Well, it, I don't know. Kingdom Hearts is so delicate. It's so hard to talk about <laughs> um, <laughs> when you're trying to like either recommend it or not recommend it. It's like, well... Oh, I don't know. my answer, James, is no. But I would like to hear Angel's, <laughs> I would like to hear Angel's defense in a second. But my answer is no because uh, first game is bad, and if you don't play the first game, what are you gonna skip it and go to like other games? No, you're missing out on stuff. And uh, just that that whole series is a mess storytelling wise. And <laughs> I don't even think the gameplay is that that good to write home about except chain memories i think it's okay you know it's not bad Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i liked it when i was what 14 but you know going to it now is three's combat good Mm, wow glowing review okay (laughs) (laughs) sorry i just okay for me 
the combat whenever i had to i would be like oh why do i like this game <laughs> and then and then but then when you got to like explore the disney worlds and stuff it was like oh my god this is why i like kingdom hearts mm. but um you know i don't know that that, that was just me well, if you want to play a game where when you, pl- you get into combat, which I, happens often, I believe in Kingdom Hearts games, and it happens makes and it makes often. you go, "Why do I like Kingdom Hearts?" Then, if that sounds like a good experience to you, <laughs> then yes, I suppose you should play Kingdom Hearts. Now, I'm Angel, sorry. as a Kingdom Hearts uh, expert, I would like to give you uninterrupted. Why do you think somebody should play Kingdom Hearts? Uninterrupted, mm-hmm. huh? Yeah. Um, good lord. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's even I would say it's hard to recommend because like it I think what keeps the momentum is because of when people got started it was such like the time to play a game is when you're like tw- that that series is when you're like 12 years old and you love mm. to like self insert yourself into these like fantasies um I love Kingdom Hearts for that I wish I could take the like cleaned up like combat and like map system from like two and put it into the first game because then the mm. first game would be my favorite because the story is so simple um, mm. and like the characters are so charming. I don't know. It, it's like the most approachable game for me, but like I've seen so many Let's Plays now where people are having a miserable time because like <laughs> even I forget like, oh, right, that's how you're supposed to get to there. Like that is how you proceed to this story sequence. And it makes no sense. Mm. Um, but it, if I don't know. If you were the type to like self-insert yourself into uh your favorite movie or game or if you were the type of person to make like fan characters and things like that like i think like that is like the lifeblood of like the kingdom hearts series um Mm. it's just projection and escapism oh god it's true i love those characters so much i i love like i love them separately too like the characters of kingdom hearts separately and then just like the disney worlds too like i love the idea of like being a part of it and like meddling I love when they have like an original story too like it when it's not necessarily just like a retread like verbatim mm. of the story mm-hmm. um, those moments are fun so i totally understand where you're coming from angel of like the at the time it was the perfect time for you to play it right yeah you you um it's kind of like how people who had a naruto phase it's like they watched naruto at just the right age right it's not mm-hmm. necessarily something you can like explain to people so let me ask you this if you pl- if you had like let's say you'd never played Kingdom Hearts and you were playing it for the first time today, mm. do you think you would like it on its own? Looking at it, kind of, not objectively, but kind of objectively, as if I've never experienced it today. Angel is going to play Kingdom Hearts for the first time. Do you think <laughs> I, you would like it? I I, I don't think so. I think especially mm. today, because as a person, it's so hard for me to get into any video games now, especially if there's so like if it requires a lot of like time management like time suck. if it's a huge time suck if it's like a lot a lot of hours to get into i i, I really can't pick up anything like that mm. anymore so i think kingdom hearts would not be something for me <laughs> for adult me to get into let's now. say you had all the free time in the world mm. <laughs> i'd still blow it um uh <laughs> <laughs> That's what last year was all about, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, not. I think it, it, it that kind of game is like way too over- overwhelming for me now. Like I can't get into any other RPGs. Um, mm. So like my old faithfuls are the ones I gravitate to now. It's like, well, I know enough about Pokemon, so I'm going to play the next Pokemon. And Kingdom Hearts is that for me too. I see. So mm. it's an important part of your of your childhood it's very dear to your heart you played it at the right time but now you wouldn't play it so the answer is no (laughs) (laughs) uh like i get it like as much as i make fun of kingdom hearts like it has a very bombastic storyline filled with lots of characters i get it you know it's it's why people like bleach <laughs> or like oh, naruto God. right <laughs> like you know i know i get it like there's an appeal and like it doesn't help or it helps that the characters are all very pretty right so mm-hmm. and the disney thing like for me when i was watching the those disney kingdom, thing the disney yeah. thing when i was watching those kingdom hearts 3 trailers i was like "Ooh, the disney stuff that looks really cool 
And then they'd yeah, be like playing like fucking like chess it. or whatever. And I'd be like, Ugh, like I don't care about this, but uh, <laughs> the chess, like who like cares? the egg, like the edgy chess. Oh my god, like that's almost where it gets in the way for me. But um, you know, I think what could be fun is kind of like you were saying, Angel, where uh, original stories in the Disney worlds are fun. Like my and and I think they've done this with like maybe like phone games or something. But the idea of like let's say we had a a big budget version of this where you can recruit Disney characters to your party and take them to different worlds. Like mm. uh and I believe there's versions of this that exist in a phone game version, but like could you imagine like Kingdom Hearts budget, but like, hey, make a make a party of like, I don't know, Aladdin and uh, Elsa and Sully, you know, and you could go around, you know, in an RPG battles or something like that. That'd be fun. I think I could get behind that. And uh, now the whole Mario fanfic guy in me is like going like, oh man, if you mashed all the Disney characters together, which <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 1 does, right? That whole like met all the villains together that's really fun yeah yeah God, and then I they completely that. don't care about that because it oh we got organization 13 or whatever uh yeah like which i get i loved that when i was a kid but looking back i it feels like missed potential but yeah um, no I, I miss that too they yeah. they'll even bring back some of the villains they'll just they're just alive again because who cares yeah and they'll like shit on maleficent because fuck her it's like nah i moved on I don't want to be part of the committee anymore. I paid yeah. my dues. Because <laughs> Maleficent still so stays sad. plot relevant, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Still even. <laughs> yeah, she just kind of pops up and is like, I'm here. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a box. Yeah, I'm looking for a box. Yeah. I'm still here, by the way. I'm and, still mean and yeah. evil, kind of. And she's, she's looking my for boy. a box? What is she, <laughs> I know. What is she looking for? A, a box. Well, what was? Why? I don't even remember. Wow, sounds like I... really good storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, <laughs> it was really vague, and it has to do with like the mobile games and like the next uh... saga. Like, oh yeah, okay. Mm. I'm sure my friend David could explain it to me in a paragraph or an essay or whatever. <laughs> I don't care enough. Okay. I hope he could. I hope he can make it that simple. Uh, he actually understands all of it miraculously. I because he. The only reason he plays those games, uh, and this is uh, Mewed for listeners who was on a previous or a past episode, uh, he just likes playing games that are filled with ridiculous lore. Um, so like Metal Gear is a game like that, and mm. Kingdom Hearts, oh, just I see, I see. filled with lore because he thinks it's he thinks it's enjoyable and kind of funny to experience all of it and condense it and and like, you know, he says that if you play all of them, but you have to play. <laughs> All of them. All of them. It makes yeah. sense, which I don't doubt. But that's yeah. That's a, a lunatic's errand. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to play every single Kingdom Hearts game. Maybe one day. Oh, but There's also like maybe soon. five games where they will retread and like spell out like, oh, this is what happened in the last game. You need to know this. Like mm. Dream Drop will literally stop the game yeah. and pause and show mm. an X screen like this game was added to your journal. Like read up about it. And what? then move on. They just drop previous games synopses into the game. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> no more. Which I stopped. That's... I prefer that over Kingdom Hearts Three, where Goofy <laughs> is like dropping lore, like oh, out of his no. Goofy oh, voice. Oh my god! Like, You're oh, right. <laughs> that's where the nobodies. I can't do a Goofy voice, but like, oh god, it's. Yeah. He does all the exposition. Okay, yeah, we, we yeah. talked about just... we talked about Kingdom Hearts too much. Let's let's talk about something else. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, I would like to Gear give switch. each of you a chance, if you would like. Uh, we'll start with you, Marie. Is there a topic you'd like to bring up or a question? Just anything, whatever you. Oh like. God! If not, don't worry about it. Or if you can't think of one, if Angel, if you have one. Um, Ooh. Um. What's up? I, I would love to discuss um, how like sacrilegious the pixar's cars universes okay <laughs> let's get into it let's get into it yeah yeah right now oh yes oh shit uh start okay. us off with like the one of your biggest uh uh oh god this mic is so drops hard. on the cars universe. let's see um i think my favorite part about how ridiculous this universe is mm -hmm. is just all of the 
things that you can assume from what already exists in the universe, mm. such as they have they have TSA at their airports, yeah. which means that in the past, there was a Cars 911 incident. Oh, that's that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And so there is the Planes franchise, mm -hmm. which also coincides with the Cars universe. And it says Planes um, within the same universe as Cars. So in the Cars universe, the Planes are also, you know, sentient beings. Yes. So was a plane like <laughs> was the plane like a ter was this a terrorist mm, plane okay or was or it like what, you know in the plane oh yeah God. what's going on here mm. my mouth was uh -huh. agape the entire time you were like connecting those two <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, like things like that yeah that's um that's something um yeah another another thing that like is just like they have these things in the universe and these very hard and fast rules, mm -hmm. but they also break the rules for like jokes. Yeah. So things just never, like there is, uh, like, like you can't. I assume you can't open the car doors or anything, or at least we don't know, because mm. would that be like cutting know, somebody's but, stomach open? Yeah, <laughs> but um, one of the jokes is that they're going down the highway and there's this sign off to the side that says like truck stop we feature like topless convertibles mm -hmm, and yeah. i'm just like oh that's like fucked up like <laughs> are their brains just out and about like i get they're doing like topless oh ha, ha that's so funny and adult but right, um, right. then you start to realize wait like like topless, like their whole skin is peeled. Well, back. they do a or they do a joke skin? where they know. flash right headlights, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is it a thing where um, their headlights are? <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, uh, I hate this. <laughs> I like the. I hate this. Okay, so I know. I know. So is I a know. topless bar like the headlights are on all the time? That'd be the tamest version of this. I like your version <laughs> better. Where it's like you're looking inside, there's like their fucking brain cavity or it's whatever. It's disgusting. Yeah. And they're also into it, I guess. Oh, they're I all know. into it. Yeah. They're all like into watching girl. an like... open surgery uh, in a bar. Because it's, it's clear that there is like organic material in there because Lightning McQueen has that whole like that tongue joke yeah. at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, there is organic material inside at least the frame. I don't know. Do they have car seats? Have the car doors or... never opened? I don't know. No. No? Really? Not even like a yeah, like, like a hitting each other like joke or something like like nothing? No, I don't think the cars have ever been opened. Although I do have a book of the storyboards and concept design. Okay. And in a couple of those storyboards they have jokes where the car doors are open. So maybe Maybe, maybe. There is definitely and, like a beating and, heart in there. Yeah, I know. Like a, yeah, because they can eat, right? They can yeah, eat, he, he but eats it's wasabi. also unclear what they eat. <laughs> mm. Because they eat, they I guess they drink oil and gasoline, because that's like the whole point of Flo's Diner. Yeah, but Sally also fills up Lightning the Queen's gas tank, like the way that we fill up gas tanks. You know, with with the side thing and so is that like his ass just like i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> there's so many questions i mean you can get fluids <sighs> in that way i guess uh i know i can i i can keep i can talk about this forever it's it's the worst see, but i love talking about see, it i'm this way so with bad. the toy store universe like i'm you know i <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah i i think i've uh. done my spiel on that but uh yeah i and then there's the whole. This is an obvious one, but there's a pope, right? There's a yes. So there was a car Christ then. Uh, yes, there's a car Jesus. A car Jesus. <laughs> How was he crucified? Uh, <laughs> also, what make and model would would car Christ? Be? Was there? Is it still a cross shape? You think? <laughs> like, did they like, <laughs> like, did they separate like the wheels? So like the wheels are. <laughs> On the no. arms of the cross, I don't. What's the, oh God! What's the Chrysler symbol? <laughs> oh my God! God. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of there are a lot of. I want to see that uh, the Last Supper picture, but it's it's Jesus. <laughs> with the, with just all, all cars. cars. Yeah. Oh man. 
Yeah. So does that mean like there are a bunch like all of our real world religions are also in the cars world? Is this like a one to one like mirror, except it's just cars? I would hope I so. don't know. <laughs> Doesn't Cars 1 have the thing where they have, like, the Toy Story car, like, bloopers or something? Like, Toy Story Monsters, Inc. cars? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forget. Is, that, like... is the context of that that they're, they're watching them? Yeah, yeah they're, they're watching like them at, theater. like, a drive-in yeah. theater. Which doesn't make any sense because we're not <laughs> monsters and we're not toys. So why are the versions of them in the movies all cars? I think no. it's the pun that it's like a toy car, like a little. No, no, like a little I understand nap. it from a writing. Oh, Angel, no, we understand from a joke writing perspective. We're talking about a lore perspective right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, pardon me. It doesn't make any sense. I tell you, why? Oh, <laughs> uh, why are they all cars? Yeah. Why can't they just be? You know, I don't. I don't know. No, they should just be monsters. You know. I well, know. Yeah. yeah. In Less fact, only like Boo should movie? be a car. Boo should be a car, but the rest of them should be monsters. Or, Ooh, or, exactly. or, what's the scariest thing to a car? <laughs> or, what were cars afraid of when they were young? Let's 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 unpack this, okay? Like, ooh, that thing from um, Brave Little Toaster, the magnet, that magnet thing. Oh, or like a dem- like something like a junkyard scrap, like a, yeah, like a like a demolisher or something. Yeah, or, yeah. or if I was a car, I mean, I would. I, I was scared of that as a human. Got it. <laughs> if I was a car, I'd be terrified of that. So in the Cars version of Monsters, Inc., all the monsters would have to be junkyard demolishing <laughs> magnets <laughs> or scrap heat, scrappers or that kind of thing. And then Boo is a little car, and that's the only thing that makes sense. Now, uh, we, we solved that. So is there... Is there a, um, a Cars in universe like animation studio Pixar? There's a Pixar. Pix, Pixar. 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 Oh no! Um, yeah, there there'd have to be right. There'd have to be. Yeah, yeah, because those aren't live action. Those are implied to be. Yeah, animated. those are animated films. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are Cars <laughs> animating. Um, that's always an interesting question. Whenever I watch, like, whenever you see a cartoon. And you see them watching a cartoon, like an anime, for example, right? It's almost always yeah. like just another anime character. So it's like mm-hmm. to them, is that just like watching, like a photo, live like action. live action, or <laughs> or is it actually supposed to be like a cartoon? Um, mm. you know, that's another whole thing. Yeah, that's uh, now I'm thinking about everything <laughs> about life in general, <laughs> right? Oh, shit. Yeah. Third oh. eye open. Um, any last cars? cars uh any, any any last cars thoughts before uh there's too many i don't i think <laughs> i've i've said enough i think enough has been discussed <laughs> there's, there's too many things <laughs> um now angel is there a topic mm. a question that you would like to bring up anything goes that you would oh. like if not mm. we can just keep talking about cars or something but um. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what else to contribute about cars I, I like post a question once in a in a in a drive like what is like are how are cars born is there like mm. a baby like an adolescent car like do they learn to crawl or like you oh, know drive yeah. like, there are little children are there children cars in the cars movies there are children cars they're yes. just small you can see them, small cars you can see them yeah you can see them in the stands at um any of the racing scenes so that means the cars physically grow over time yeah i guess maybe so. yeah or do they get their frames replaced yeah Ooh. there are naturally like in the world like according to like the cars ride like some of their parts are like naturally growing like the little red lights in the that are like the what is it the slag tights in the cave of the mm-hmm. ride so oh. i feel like maybe they grow naturally to like like yeah like the, i think that's so right they are organic material even if they're like car material yeah that's... oh i never even thought about the ride, Yo, the ride. there's so much hidden lore <laughs> in the ride i know i didn't even <laughs> think about that that's why the long is, the the line is so long everyone needs to get as much as they can yeah it's exactly right. <laughs> Everyone wants to know the deep cars lore. Yeah, they're all filling up the wiki. 
damn. Oh my god. Um, uh, are there any last Twitter ones that you think were like particularly good? Um, uh, someone asked what kind of cartoon we would all make together. I don't know if like it was indiv- meant to be individually or together, but I like the idea that we're all collaborating on it. Sure. Um, what what is it? What's the cartoon? Um, well, given everyone here, I would think e- the the easiest one would either be like a magical girl show or like a nice Ooh. like slice of life cartoon would be cute mm. Ooh, okay. i love the idea of a magical girl show that'd be so cute okay so l- yeah. why don't we angel in a magical girl show what are like what's something you wish would be in it or like something some aspect of it right like in your dream version of okay i'm making a magical girl show what is your take on it um i mean i've already I, I, i've like thought of like actual ones that like that i want to pitch someday <laughs> okay um angel's but, ready <laughs> oh yeah um but i do like the idea of like well i mean I, i'm a sucker I, I usually prefer like ones where like the costumes are pretty uniform but i do like when they're all different mm. um but uh I mentioned that because, like, I do want, like, a Magical Girl show where, like, anyone can wear a dress regardless of gender. Mm. And I've thought about, like, having, like, a like a gender non-conforming, like, male character who uses, like, he, him pronouns. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, literally I haven't even thought of, like, oh, what if, you know, what if, what if someone voiced them? That'd be mm, cool. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I do want to p- use, like, a Magical Girl story as a vehicle for talking about, like, who... Uh, like should have those powers like everyone should have those powers mm. i don't know okay um you know other than that like I, I will write a magical girl story for any theme any yes. genre <laughs> how about you marie um oh my god either uh because clearly angel like is is like so w- would it be safe to say angel that if i i was like hey angel you get a cartoon right now would you go magical girl first would that be like your your go-to um i have a couple other things in on the line first like mm. some that aren't like i'm not too passionate about or i will like try to figure out the ropes of like show running mm-hmm. before i want to mm. pitch like my baby project sure sure but, um, yeah it is it, it's in my future <laughs> okay uh and marie what would be your oh ideal cartoon that like uh we could all work on Oh, I really love the idea of magical girl. Yeah, okay. So oh, I just want to see Angel. I just want to see your your idea like become a show now. I just want to see it. <laughs> Do you have like character designs in your head? Do you like imagine the anime opening? Oh to different yeah. Oh music? yeah. <laughs> no, yes! okay, that's a topic I can get on because uh... see that's that's the that's when you know that it's true love. <laughs> when you start imagining the anime opening with your characters in your head. Uh, for yeah. both of you, here's a question it. then. Uh, what anime? What's an anime opening that you absolutely have put your OCs into? Oh my god, so many. What's like so the one? Many. You're like, okay, I'm going to do the daydream right now. What's the one? Oh. I'm sure there's one, right? I mean, I do have yeah, one. Yeah, what is it? I'll go, go for it. We are. Oh shit! One piece. Oh shit! Yeah, that's that one. So good. That one's always my number one. That's so <laughs> that's my number one. Good. Okay, okay. And it's so good. That song makes me so happy every time I hear it. Are we now? Oh do you want to share which characters are going into that? Oh god, I don't. I don't know. It, it seriously is such a good song that any character can. You yeah, know. That's true. And there's so many different versions of the song too, mm. and it's oh, like any character <laughs> you could always imagine them doing something fun, like running or like being like yeah with their friends, you know, mm. and oh yeah, doing like cool. Oh, that's a good yeah. choice. But that's also just like in general one of my favorite songs to listen to to just get pumped up to like yeah I gotta get ready to work yeah you know, uh, <laughs> but that's always like my number one go to. I'll I'll put that on my phone while I'm falling asleep, and so <laughs> I can just. What are you going to sleep? Falling until asleep? Wow. I fall asleep. Okay. Yeah, it's like time to imagine until I go. I feel to like sleep. I'd be too jazzed to sleep. I'd be like, but. Uh... That's a great answer. How about you, Angel? Do you have an opening that you... (laughs) 
Mine are, uh, it's hard to explain. Like the first one that came to mind um, was when I was really young. Mm. Um, and it's not necessarily even like an anime opening, mm-hmm. um, but I had Kingdom Hearts OCs. Mm. And I am, and like I got really into Utada because of Kingdom Hearts. So I really like the song Can You Keep a Secret? And I would, in, I would like insert and like I made like a CGI like opening for like their video game in my head. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a, this is not, is this a Kingdom Hearts song or is it just an Utada song? It's just an Utada oh, song. Oh, shit, dog. Okay, well, that's getting into different territory. That's, that's even, yeah. that's next level. <laughs> uh god i um, do but like okay, go ahead sorry um but like as a as like a, another opening like i forget the title of the capsule song but i really liked uh uh what's it? Yus- yasutaka nakata he does like all the composing for like capsule and like kiari and mm, perfume i believe okay. I see. um i love his music i want him to do the soundtrack and um there was one song in particular that i wanted like i or i imagined as like an opening for man- my magical girl show <laughs> um i don't think we could use it but i got really excited when i saw that he composed for uh a panak film it's like oh he does oh really he composes oh, for animation one? um oh what was the one about the invisible man oh i loved that one yeah oh, shoot. that was one of the like short films right yes I think? Mm, yes oh that was such a good one i remember watching that at the animation film festival and like what 2018 i think i don't yeah. remember 18 or 17 oh, yeah. that was a really good one. Oh my mm. god mm. yeah my eyes grew so wide when i heard <laughs> i was like oh, he's an animation <laughs> <laughs> your brain exploded yeah i'm just like salivating <laughs> yeah oh my god. um but yeah that's that's what i thought of. i wish i remember the song but yeah, it's usually his songs aren't really like a traditional song. It's usually like EDM. Oh, okay. Um, but sometimes they'll have lyrics, and this one had lyrics. Mm. But I don't think the lyrics match the title. I see. Mm. But, yeah, just his brain. I want his brain to do all my anime openings. <laughs> cool. Damn. Just extract his brain and bring it back with you. Uh, well, I would love to voice in an angel run magical girl show. That would be sick. Uh, uh, let's do it. I want this to yeah, happen. Let's do it. Um, one day. Yeah. One day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess. I guess for me, like, I'm happy, you know, doing whatever. But uh, voiceover wise, like, um, but it is. It is like a a dream of mine to be like in the main cast of a show that a friend created. I think that would be really, I think that would be really, really cool. So, uh, what kind of show do you want us to make for you? (laughs) Which one, which one will you craft for me? Oh, I don't, so I mean, (laughs) I mean, honestly, if I got to choose, uh, I would love to do one that was, uh, story driven, right? Like, you know, I love, I love, you know, comedies and I love ones that are more, more, uh, episodic, but to be able to do one, you know, like, it's like how anime gets to do it all the time, right? In anime, every, mm-hmm. all their shows are fucking story driven, like, you know, uh, serialized, right? Um, mm-hmm. yeah, no, I would, I would love to, uh, be in, if if a friend created a show that had like a serious story, doesn't have to be like deadly serious, but you know what I mean. One with stakes, yeah, emotional stakes. We can be yeah. a little more specific though, because this is you know what we're asking you. What do you want to make? Like, what's like a genre that you mm. gravitate towards? Yeah, yeah. Or any kind of specific story, uh, like theme that you would want to touch upon if you made a show. Mm. Oh, you're saying if? Are or you saying voiced... if I made a show? Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like we're there too, but like, what, what, what do you? What's your take on it? God, I don't know. I think it's just, uh, if I got to make a show, um, it would be. And I think I think a lot of cartoons are also going for this, but it's it's what I love about certain anime, right? Like, um, mm-hmm. <sighs> I don't know. I I'm not I'm not someone who has like, you know that that pitch ready in my head for that sort of question. Because yeah. for me for oh. me the focus is about uh, acting, right? So I, I can think about like what kind yeah, of characters true. I'd love to play, like, um, mm, mm-hmm. just like. Well, I do play a lot of villains, but uh, like I <laughs> but you know just a really good like 
uh, just impactful villain, I think, would be fun. Uh, mm-hmm. Or, mm-hmm. I don't know, like, I... I personally don't care about, like, uh, and I've kind of talked about this on the podcast, but, like, the whole, like, I'm the main character, like, that's cool and all, but it's not, re- I'm, mm-hmm. I'm kind of more drawn to the more interesting side characters or villains or whatever, as opposed to, like, uh, main pro- pro- protagonist, uh, protagonist. protagonist. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like some yeah. cheese. Um, yeah, this is all very vague, but. I don't know. I think just I would I would love to do stuff that can sh- sort of take me to emotional places I don't normally get to go to. Uh, like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, like I do. I've done a lot of like villain work. I've done a lot of comedy work. I've done stuff. But I would like, you know, maybe maybe like a, a more maybe emotionally complex villain. You know, one of those villains that's like. Mm-hmm. You know, you can kind of sympathize with them. Uh, that could be kind yeah, of fun. Yeah, um, those are always so fun to watch right. too. Yeah. Just like, and people are so drawn to them. Yeah. So, it's a good answer. Would you want the story to focus on their perspective, or it's just? Oh, I mean, that's that's. I, a mean, side listen, I mean, if I could just choose, yeah, put me in every episode. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I mean, it's your yeah. show. Yeah, right? your show. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's interesting. Like, I could see myself. Mm, I, I guess I'd have to put more thought into it if I were going to be like, I would, uh, mm-hmm. like I could see myself writing for a show. Um, like that's actually something that I didn't think about like, uh, you know, years ago, but you know, uh, more recently I'm like, you know, that is something that I think I, you know, would have interest in is uh, potentially writing um, for a show. But as, as the show runner or creator, there is nothing necessarily that, I have that pitch or anything. Um, I often mm-hmm. find I'm just really, I just really enjoy taking other people's sort of, you know, material, especially when it's well written, and giving life to characters. That's that's where I find a lot of a lot of joy. Um, so, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Let's make a cartoon. Hell yeah! Who knows what the future has in store, right? Like. I know, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, I think I think for both of you, I see I see shining futures ahead of you. So, uh, and that's <laughs> not you know I I mean that you know, I mean Thanks. that. So, uh, who knows? Thanks. Who knows what'll uh, uh, what'll happen in the future? But um, yeah, I guess that's a good note to end on. We're about at the hour mark. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that's so like hard. That was yeah, I'm glad so we ended on this show. and not like fucking like Aww. Cars 911 or something. But uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I was just about to um, say. Now, where can pe- <laughs> how do cars reproduce? <laughs> how do cars fuck? Like no, we don't. Um, <laughs> oh. uh, now, where can people find you? We'll start with you, Marie. Where can people find you? Okay. Everyone can find me on Twitter, unfortunately, mm. <laughs> at, at, uh, and also Instagram at Puka Noodles. So P U C C A N O O D L E S. All right, uh, yeah. and Angel, where can people find you? Um, I'm Glam Doodle, pretty much everywhere, but I'm mostly on Twitter, G L A M D O O D L E. Um, I have an Instagram, but I mostly, or I used to, I used to just put foodies from disneyland there i mean there's nothing wrong with that i miss that oh man i'm so sad i miss it listen when disneyland returns we're gonna have a glorious return because it's i probably will start crying because i'll be like "Uh, Uh, (laughs) dinosaurs yeah for 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 (laughs) dinosaurs we're we're gonna recreate that poster (laughs) but it's just us storming into disneyland um well when disney when disneyland opens up and I assume some sort of annual pass replacement will be there in place because uh, they're going to have something. Then we, they're yeah, gonna we have something. will, we're going to destroy Disneyland. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we will consume we're all going to collectively spend three million. Three million dollars, <laughs> and it's all on a uh, fucking. Uh, okay, just last question to end off on. You get one food item right now from Disneyland. What do you get? Oh, For me, it's a macaron, oh, like a. Uh, Ube I was macaron. just about to say take the holiday it. macaron. How about you? Dude. Macaron? You got a better answer? Wait, just like One anything? One food like item right now. I'm going to just... give it to you from Disneyland. 
Uh, the the lemon the lemon sorbet thing from <laughs> the Pixar mm, period. Okay, that's good. good. I'll change mine to that that holiday beef stroganoff thing that oh, they had. Fuck. Oh my god.